and welcome back to my channel for my 32 week bump date. So this past week has been a little hectic. Um, I'm actually doing my 31 and 32 weeks combined because I just didn't have time last week to film at all. Um, but I feel like kind of a lot has changed. So first of all, a lot of things have been going on just in our personal life that have been really really stressful lately and i kind of just don't want to talk about it right now because i just don't want to stress myself out even more and um hopefully once these things get resolved then maybe i'll go ahead and talk about them but right now i'm not going to um, because i'm still currently dealing with them and i don't want to be talking about them 24 7 because i'm just over it at this point um but baby is growing good i had my 32 week appointment today i am currently up to 139 pounds so i have gained 19 pounds so far um a couple things that happened between last week and this week um, are that I had leaky boobs, which is so so weird because last week at the beginning of my 31 weeks I Actually woke up like in the morning and I went to use the bathroom And when I look at myself in the mirror noticed that my shirt is wet I was like I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. I haven't washed my face. Why is my shirt wet? And I look and it's my boobs It was only my right side and it hasn't really happened again since um, at least not on its own like if I um, stimulate them then I will produce you'll see it I my body's producing colostrum already um, if I stimulate myself then yes it comes out but it hasn't done it on its own again but I just thought that that was so like cool to actually see that my body is doing that already and that that's what my baby's gonna be eating once she gets here which is so so amazing um and let's see what else it has been really hard to sleep i've actually been waking up with pains um because it's just so hard to try to sleep on my side all night long um and at this point just my left side is a little bit more comfortable than my right side but still just being on my side all night has been so annoying and it actually hurts like my hips i wake up in the morning with such bad hip pain because i'm trying not to sleep on my back sometimes i still wake up on my back but when i catch myself i try to turn over and <sighs> it's just been pretty uncomfortable honestly <laughs> Um, let's see what else I had. Oh, we have our baby shower this weekend, which is really, really exciting. And we'll be driving down on Friday, baby showers on Saturday, coming back up on Sunday. So it's gonna be a little bit of a hectic weekend, but we're super excited because once the baby shower is over, I can actually start preparing, which I'm so, so excited about, honestly, because at this point I'm just like I feel like I have nothing ready even though I know that I have a lot ready um, I just feel like I have nothing ready and next week I'll be 33 weeks and who knows when she's actually gonna be here I just really want to start getting prepared washing her clothes putting everything away knowing what we have knowing what we don't have that way by 36 weeks all I have to do is focus on deep cleaning this apartment um, because that's another update we will not be moving um, anymore right now at least um, that I know of so I know that I had mentioned in my previous videos that we were planning on moving um, to a bigger place and it just didn't work out that way so we're gonna be staying here hopefully um, for the next few months and just making it work with what we got so yeah um, let's see leaky boobs Baby girl is still head down, which is really, really good. Um, she hasn't been turning around. She hasn't turned around. My doctor says obviously she still has space to move. Um, but at this point, I think she's pretty comfortable with how she's at. So I'm praying that she stays head down. Um, I have been feeling her a lot like in my side and more towards the front where like my belly button is. So I've been feeling her a lot there. And, um, okay. 
So I've been feeling her a lot there and I definitely feel like she has dropped because I actually don't really feel as winded as I did before and I don't feel her as high. I mean, she's still pretty high. Like I feel her right here, but she's not like up here, if that makes sense. Like she's not all the way up here. Um, doctor says that she looks good. Her heartbeat is pretty good. I have not been having any more contractions um, since the hospital stay. Well, I mean, I've had Braxton Hicks a couple, um, but I haven't had any more like steady, steady contractions. So I really do think that it was just from the fall, the stress on my body um, kind of just, you know, resulting in me contracting a lot. And I'm really trying to not stress everything that's been going on right now because I don't want my body to go through that again. I don't want to put her through that again. So I'm trying to just relax as much as I can, but it's been a little difficult. Um, trying to drink as much water as I can. I got my first belly stretch marks, which is heartbreaking. Um, they're very, very small. You probably won't even be able to see them in this video, but um, and they're really, really low. So I think I mentioned before that I've already gotten stretch marks on my breasts and I've already gotten stretch marks on my butt, but on my stomach is kind of just like, oh, stab to the heart. Um, you know, I've been moisturizing as much as I can. I've been drinking lots of water, but at the end of the day, you know, they're just, there's just some things you can't prevent. And stretch marks, stretch marks is one of them. But I think, I think that's it for this pregnancy update. I can't really think of too much else. Um, let's see, leaky boobs. Um, hip pain I'm still getting a lot of my my gums are still constantly bleeding every single time I brush my teeth random times throughout the day gums are bleeding um, baby girl has dropped so she's very very low um, baby shower is coming up which is really exciting um, and once we have the baby shower, then I'll be able to finish up her little nursery area, which is also really, really nice. Um, can't wait to have that set up. And I'm pretty sure that that is it for my 32 weeks. Um, other than that, I've been feeling pretty good. Um, just a lot heavier. You know, I feel like now I'm kind of gaining weight a lot faster now that baby's gaining weight a lot faster and it's just so so hot so even though I'm drinking a lot of water obviously I know that my body is hot and it's retaining water and it's just not fun being pregnant over the summer in Florida it's really not um yeah so let's go ahead and do the belly shot So yeah, that is what baby girl looks like at 32 weeks. Um, with my appointment today, my doctor did measure my uterus and he says that it's measuring about 32, almost 33 weeks. So everything looks good. Um, my weight gain has been good. Um, blood pressure has been normal the whole entire time um, throughout my pregnancy, which is good. And yeah. I mean, nothing too exciting has happened, but I'm excited for this weekend to come because that means that once I have my baby shower, I will be able to um, start getting a lot more done and I can also do a baby shower haul. I will be able to do my cloth diapering video. Um, I'll be able to do her little nursery area video, which is really exciting. Um, 
and yeah there's just gonna be a lot more videos coming up once you know we get closer to the time um, I also want to do how I'm preparing for a natural birth um, and yeah I have a lot of ideas but I feel like just not prepared enough to do these videos so hopefully after this week I'll feel a little bit more prepared and start filming a little bit more um, and yeah I kind of just get ready for our baby girl and get ready for her to be here and <sighs> I'm praying so hard that she does not go overdue I just want to meet her already I really don't want to go past 40 weeks like I'm 32 weeks right now and I just want obviously I don't want her to be born too early but girl come 37 weeks if you ready I'm ready like I'm waiting on you you know but um yeah I think that's it for this video Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week in my 33 week hopefully if it's not too busy because I'll be working all week. Um, I'll see you guys next week or I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.